Hello children, you continue the lesson, the model millionaire, page number 46. You can open the page number 46 from 29th paragraph onwards. The heading here is the surprise. You told that old beggar all about me, cried Huey, looking very red and angry. So here, after hearing the information, the matter that Alan Trevor had told everything about Huey to that man, the old beggar man. So Huey, Huey didn't feel good about it. He didn't feel good. He see, he was uh, feeling a little bit bad, and he says that he was a uh, little bit get on angry on this man, his friend Alan Trevor. Why? What was the reason? Why did he get angry? Let's get into the lesson, the next part. So, my dear boy, said Trevor smiling, that old beggar, as you call him, is one of the richest man in Europe. Underline this. So, the person, old beggar, who was acting as a model, okay, and even the beggar model, he acted as a model for the beggar to draw the picture. And Huey thought really that person was a beggar man, old beggar man. He got real compassion on him and even he gave little coin, little pies to him. He was moved with compassion. That's why he gave little money also. But really that man was not at all a beggar man. Rather he was the richest man in Europe. In Europe, as in Europe is very big no. So, entire Europe, so he was the one of the richest men. Really, it is a surprising thing to Alan Trevor, sorry, Huey. So, let's see the uh, some more information about this old beggar man. Uh, he could buy all London tomorrow and never miss the money. Okay, so one more quality is. He could buy, he has the ability, he has the money, that much wealth even to buy the entire the city, London. That much money he has and he has a house in every capital city. Can you imagine that much rich man? So, he has a house in every capital city of Europe and eats of gold plates. So, he will eat his food in the gold plates. It doesn't mean that he will eat the gold plate, but he will be having his dinner or lunch or breakfast in his gold plates, the plates that we will eat, you no, know, in the, the, uh, we will use to eat our dinner or lunch or breakfast. So, we will use steel plates or fiber plates or plastic plates, but he will use gold plates, okay. Then, and can prevent Russia going to war when he chooses. What on earth do you mean? He exclaimed Huey. He didn't believe, he couldn't believe the, the you, that man, old beggar man was a, that much a rich person in the entire Europe itself. So, he was in shock. Let us see. What happened to him? What I say, said Trevor, the old man you saw today was Baron Hasberg. He is a great friend of mine, buys all my pictures and that sort of thing. He asked me a money ago, eh, sorry, a month ago to paint him as a beggar. And since he is paying, well, I could not refuse and I must say, I think... He made a splendid model. Okay, he told. So, the old man, whatever this person had seen, is none other than Baron Hersberg. His name is the old beggar man's name is Baron Hersberg. What's his name? Baron Hersberg. And also, he was a great friend of Alan Trevor. Mine refers to whom? Alan Trevor. So, this old beggar man's name is Baron Hersberg. And he is a great friend of Alan Trevor. And also, he has the ability. What he is to do? One habit. He has one habit that. So, he is to buy all the pictures of Alan Trevor. Alan Trevor is he is a painter. He is to be paint the pictures. No. So, in the same way, uh, whatever pictures that he prepares, he paints, all the pictures will be bought by 
this person that is Baron Hasbuck. Got it? Next. So he asked him. Just one month ago, he asked him, who as Baron Hasberg asked Alan Trevor to draw his, to draw a painting, a beggar model. And so that is the reason he was playing a role. He was like a model. And he, oh, he made a splendid model, a beautiful, amazing model attractive model he made he himself was acting as a beggar man he stood like that see even he couldn't identify this man is a baron hasber who is the richest man in the europe huey huey he couldn't identify him so this that much uh, get up set up he put it and baron hasber cried Huey, good heavens, I gave him a sovereign. Oh, Huey began to cry. Oh, he is Baron Herber, Hasberg. I even, oh my God, oh my goodness. So he began to exclaim like this. And also he is telling that he gave, he has given a sovereign to this man. Shouted travel, you have given a sovereign coin to the rich must, uh, richest person. So, and he burst into a roar of laughter. He began to laugh like anything. Who oh, he began to laugh? Trevor. Trevor began to laugh like anything after listening that even, uh, sorry, that Huey has given a sovereign to Baron Hasberg, who was a richest man. Got it? So, now yeah, he was in shock mode, and, but Alan Trevor is laughing like anything. So, a uh, little bit this man who is that Hugh is feeling little bit guilt and he's, he doesn't control his um, feelings, emotions. I think you might have told him, Alan, said Hugh e. crossly and not let me make such a fool of myself. So, he began to tell Hugh e. Hugh e began to uh, uh, tell and ask this man, his friend, Alan Trevor, uh, you, you, uh, you have told me, right, that Alan, this man, Baron has work, he was not a beggar man, was not a real beggar man, he is just acting as a model. Actually, he was a richest man in the Europe. You might have told me, right, like that, uh, Alan, this you began to ask him. And also, at least you would have uh, told me, so that I, will, I would not become a fool. Then, well, to begin with, Huey said, and Trevor said, Trevor began to talk like that. Okay, it's okay. Well, it is well. I did not think that you went around giving away your money in that way. I never thought that you will go around him and you will try to give a coin to him. I never thought like that. I didn't get such idea. Like that, Alan Trevor told this his friend Huey. And really, when you came in, I did not know if Hasberg would like his name ancient. Okay, even he said, and really, when you came inside, I did not know. Even this man will mention his name. What a duffer he must think me, said Huey. So he will be, so Huey is telling, Ayo, I, unnecessarily I have given, I have behaved like that, so foolishly I have behaved, uh, that my, that man, the great man, the great person, richest man in Europe, Baron Hasberg, what he would have thought about me, definitely a fool, he would have thought, I am a fool, not at all. So immediately he was very happy after you left okay he was actually very happy when you are not there when you left the place baron has work was very happy habit sorry happy about yours he kept laughing to himself and rubbing his old hands together Okay, actually, this was the reaction of baron has after receiving a sovereign coin from huey he has, he has given the sovereign coin to Baron Hasberg, who was the richest man in Europe. He took, innocent, he took. 
okay i but he was feeling so happy and just he was rubbing his hand hands together and he was feeling little bit laughing like anything i couldn't understand why he was so interested in you at that time but i see it all now okay at the time i couldn't understand why that man was so interested he got suddenly that much interest in this ma uh, al uh, sorry huey Alan could not understand, but now I came to know why Alan, why Baron Hasberg got that much interest in you. Okay, he told him like that. Then he, um, but I said, uh, he will never, he will invest you a sovereign for you, Huey, and pay you the interest every six months. He'll also have a good story to tell his friends after dinner. Okay. so he said whatever coin that you have invested definitely is going to repay that every 6 months he will be giving you the interest whatever sovereign coin that you have given to him that is like a great investment he will invest you a sovereign coin he uh, he will repay you see and also he will be telling this story to his good friends also then who he Uh, walked home feeling very unhappy and leaving Trevor laughing loudly. Trevor was bigger. He was keep on laughing like anything after listening the incident. But you, he felt a little bit sad. Are you honest, Arli? I have given that great, great man a big, a sovereign coin. He is a great person, richest man. Where is this small one coin? How fool I am! Like that, uh, Alan. Sorry, Huey was thinking about himself. He felt a little bit sad. But le- let us see the next morning what happened. The next morning, as he was eating his breakfast, his servant brought in a card on which was written, "Okay, next morning." This was this man was there. Who Huey was there? He was eating his breakfast. at that time a man has come a messenger has come who is that and he has given a card so it was written like this see mr gusto now then messenger of baron hersberg i suppose he has come for an apology said huey to himself and he told the servant to show the visitor in okay hmm so it was the messenger of baron hersberg came and uh, he has given that uh, so he was thinking that uh, okay he might have come for the apology he needs apology from me like that he was thinking to talking to himself he told servant to show the visitor in so whatever the servant is there you just came in come in like that he gave and an old gentleman with gold spectacles and gray hair came into the room and said with a french accent So he began to speak. A gold gentleman came with the gold spectacles and a grey hair. He entered. After that, he began to speak in English, but it was in the French accent. Do I have the honor? Do I have the honor of speaking to Mister Elskan? Huey bowed. So he came directly to uh, Huey Elskan, and he began to ask, "Can I talk with him?" like that so immediately he he began to board bow before him telling that he himself was the huey and or mr erskan i have come from baron hasberg he continued the baron i ask sir that you will offer him my sincerest apologies cried huey so he is uh, as whenever he uh, the moment he heard that the ma- the person was the messenger of baron hersberg so immediately huey began to ask apology sir please convey my apology to that person the great man baron hersberg okay then he said the baron said the old gentleman with a smile has asked me to bring you this letter okay the baron the hasberg so he has given me this letter and he told me to give it to you and he held out a sealed envelope that was that letter was nothing but a sealed envelope you know right cover a envelope cover that was covered completely closed stick it 
it is not open envelope uh -huh. on the outside was written like this over that cover outside of that cover he has written something what is that listen carefully very interesting thing happened here so a wedding present to you you eris eskine and laura merchant from an old beggar and inside was a check for 10000 pounds so that envelope he open and it is uh, sorry outside itself it is written like this a wedding present so outside of that envelope it is written like that it is nothing but a uh, a wedding gift to whom hui erskine and laura machan from whom from the old beggar man this old beggar man is none other than who is that baron hasbuck and inside that cover something was there what is that a check and that check for 10000 pounds and this 10000 pounds exactly the amount which uh, you needs in order to get marry laura machan that's what that is the condition put by whom the colonel, father of La, laura machan right see here in the third paragraph already we read it so see that much exact amount he got he has given as a wedding gift to him to whom sorry hui see the wedding when they were married now the gift amount so without working hard he got that amount he has invested in the better place the best place okay as he was uh, huey was so compassionate towards the beggar man so he got the reward which he couldn't imagine that much reward he got he did good thing right that much good kind person Yes, whenever we are kind, one. So remember, we can remember that whatever we sow, one day definitely we are going to reap it. The sun. That's what he happened in the life of Huey. He had sown, had sown very little money, but with good heart he has sown. He didn't expect anything from that. So in such a way, we have to sow. We should not expect anything from the others. Just do good. So we are we had to sow good, not only it, uh, money or gold or silver that, but we had to sow good things. Good, when we sow good, definitely we are going to get it back in an unimaginable manner, unimaginable time, unexpected time. We will get it, the reward. So that's what happened in the life of Huey Eskine. So he got. that much man and they was happily married alan driver was the best man and the baron made a speech at the wedding breakfast so as they had the reception and the lunch dinner time will be there no so at that the during the function time so he made the speech baron has book also made the speech and he mentioned that alan driver was the best man and also mary millionaire models The remarkable Allen, or the rare enough, but model millionaires are rarer still. See what a powerful statement he made. Millionaire models will be there, right? Allen said like that. But the thing is that model millionaires means the person himself acted as a model, as a bigger man. So such type of persons are very rare to find. that was the lesson so whatever good that we have sown definitely we have we will have to reap it once now or at any time that's what happened in the life of ue erskine so just he had shown compassion by looking at this uh, old man he thought he was not he was lacking everything he doesn't have anything Okay, you know, even food like that. You see, he was looking like that, no? So he got compassion. He got kindness towards that person. Immediately moved with kindness. He moved with compassion towards the old man. Just whatever little money that he had, so just he has given to that man. He doesn't know. He didn't expect anything that from that person. That's so. In such a way, in such with such attitude, we had to so. We should not expect anything from the others. 
rather just so so god will be giving the reward for your seeds whatever it may be either it may be good or bad that thing we have to remember so for everything we have to reap the harvest it may be good or it may be bad so remember that thank you